All right, what's up everyone? So we're back out on the car. And uh, so back when I bought my alternator, I bought, I bought the wrong one. I bought a two wire alternator. I meant to buy a four wire. So I asked for a 2006 and I should ask for a 2004. But uh, so I got the wrong alternator. So if you had the four wire, you could just do the 12 volt, do the resistor, hook it up and you're charging. Uh, the two wire needs a PWM signal. So I did a lot of looking on the internet about the two wire alternator and I found a person on LS1 Tech that uh, had a pretty nice little ride up and had all the parts I needed. So went that route. Also, uh, I thought about just buying a four wire alternator, but that's, you know, 150 bucks. You can change the regulator on the back of them, but that's like 50 bucks. And then uh, this article on uh, LS1 Tech, it's only you buy a $12 pulse width modulator signal generator off eBay for like 12 bucks. And then I went ahead and bought the amp plug for the alternator off of Amazon for 12 bucks. So 24 bucks and uh, we'll be charging. So I'll show you what I got and uh, we'll try to figure this out. All right, so there's the alternator plug. And then this is a little generator. So it'll let you set the frequency and the uh, uh, duty cycle. So that's all we'll need. And then uh, it's got the wiring right here where you plug it in. So from what I know right now, which I'm about 30 minutes into this, the V plus there needs to be a five volt from the ECU, which the microscript has some five volt output. So I'll splice in on one of those. The ground will just be the signal ground. And then the pulse width modulator will just be the output to the L terminal on the alternator. So, uh, yeah, so we'll get all this figured out. I got to dig into the microscope wiring and figure out where to get five volts at. And once I have that, everything else should be easy. Just uh, And then I got to find a home for this guy because the wiring inside the car, <laughs> if you've noticed, is getting kind of ugly. But uh, hopefully this is the last thing we have to add to the, to the bird's nest. All right, so I got my plug hooked up. I got to get this in the wire loom. But uh, we'll do that after we test it. And then I went on my ECU in the glove box there and I found my 5 volt signal. So I got this guy hooked up. So all I really got to do is hook this up to 5 volt. Hook this up to signal ground. And then the wire I just showed you, I've got it ran across under the dash to the glove box also. And it'll get hooked into the PWM. And then uh, we'll power it up. We'll set this thing to 128 hertz megahertz 128 whatever and then we'll play with the duty cycle and see if the voltage goes up and down like it should all right so you can see i've got i left the wires long just so i can make sure this all works right and then we'll trim everything so you can see we have this so we're gonna go up arrow we've got to make that 128 All right, so we're at 128. Then our duty cycle is it? We'll just start at 60. Then I got my laptop. Oop, I got my laptop so we can watch the voltages once we start it. So let's see. All right, so we're at 60. You can see we're at 13.2. So let's bump this guy up to 70. So we're at 75 and now we're up 14.4. So she's working. So uh, super cheap and easy way. If you end up getting the wrong alternator like I did, or if your swap comes with a two wire, you can uh, get this guy off eBay. Look up LS1 Tech. LS Swap was the username. And uh, like I said, I'll have a link in the comments, but works like butter so there's 75 and there's 14.5 so you can see if I lower it so there's 67 so now we're at 14 so uh, pretty cool so uh, let me tidy up this wiring as much as I can and uh, we'll call this video done so uh, thanks for watching and one more step closer to driving this thing as much as I can